welcome to a StarCraft 2 matchup. I believe this was a ranked match, 3v3, online. I don't know what season, but here we are anyways. I was random as the Zerg team. And I guess we'll just see how this match goes. Well, like on Team Damon, we've got Sonic Storm, it's Tourette. And over here we've got our Protoss player, Doc Fought. Doc began to unleash toxic gases across the universe. We're under attack by a probe. The Tyran player seems to have Abandon his base to deal with his probe and pylon, which, which clearly was the right move. Because that probe and pylon would have shut us all down before we'd even began. Had Red not sacrificed his entire economy to deal with it. Off to a good start, of course. Early expansion from our Teal player. And our blue plan seems to be going for a relatively standard Protoss opening. And he hopefully is saving for an Exus at the moment. Because the really extensions this meta are not. are, are not. Um, I mean, you have to do early extensions relatively speaking. Especially on fair sized maps. Especially in. Uh, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4. Let's see what our Damon players are. He's still focusing on getting his economy online, not even scouting the enemy. But I did manage to keep up some uh, Overlord scouts out here. And I've got some Zergling scouts on the way, just to make sure that the enemy isn't. Uh, Incoming any time soon. It's always a wise decision. I'm going to turn down my scroll speed just a little bit if I can. It's already fairly low. I'll put it down even more. I'll make it a bit smoother for you. It's an unfortunate thing I've noticed in StarCraft here for us. Now that I've selected something, I can't deselect it. I'll have to see what the player selected on. No matter. Oh, we've got a Got a satellite hatchery going on here. I saw a tactic. But an effective one when not noticed. It's a gold based sat satellite, too, so if it works, it'll mean a lot of money. But I think it was just spotted by purple. So there's not much you can do with that. Let's see what's going on on the opposite side of that, shall we? Got a purple plant. He's economied up a little bit. A nice little pickup there for Purple. Not going to win him the game. That's a good start. Got a loosened out his Phoenix coming in from the other side. Getting a reasonable scout on. Noticing that Yellow has a starport. Which gives an indication we may expect a war coming in. And I don't know how this satellite base is going to fare. It seemed like a good idea at the time. 
but I guess we'll just have to see how it all comes together now, won't we? Doesn't look like it's going to be very successful. Very offensive yellow team here. Pure aggro cannons across the map and steel satellite bit. Zerglings are still running amok in the uh, the main base, are they just working? under attack. That looks like the end of the Zergling perhaps. As well as the end of the satellite expansion. Unfortunately for Damon, it had to come. The hive cast under attack. Oh, and our base is under attack. Our allies are being attacked. Oh, I'm still working on these overlords. I'm here in the shadows. I didn't want the enemy to have too many overlords back in the base with you. At this point in time, you should have a third base. But I chose to go through this because that was a race. It managed to get some resources to plan up. Maybe less for them than the high cost. Although, at what cost is the real question. This is the point in the game where you should either expect some aggro or you should expect some relatively defended expansion. And I'm guessing it does not look like our enemy team has expanded outside and remain on bases of natural. Which, since the opposing team has, will unfortunately be a resource disadvantage before long. So this is the point in the game where you would hope that without a resource advantage, that means that you're pressure putting on some serious pressure. Shutting down the enemy's extra bases or economy anyway, you can. Because you can't let them gain an economic advantage for long without it spiraling out of control. Seems like. Team Damon has got some plans to attack the independent cannons. Two cannons, two cannons in general. Took out a base, yes, but you add on the resource cost of those pylons. It doesn't seem really worth it for Yellow to take down a satellite base with two cannons and two pylons. If he had taken them out with offensive units instead, he could have been in there and out. And he still had those units. Still had, uh, still had that 500 minerals. Now Team Damon has expanded outside of their main base, all of them. And their enemies here are stuck on in their main base. With no clear plans for expansion, but they have built up quite a lot. are in battle. An army which I have imagined. Much bigger than the See an overgrowth unit there, there's quite a few of them going on. Big battle going down at the side of the way. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. But it seems like Team Damon has secured this little lift here at that moment. I think the sea is on coming in. Across the map. On the composed of only one group and yellow team. Purple's just in their own head. Or at least Don is the right bed. Two of them actually pushed from the enemy back. But they need to push with this. To 
shut down the out of control economy. Team Damon. Otherwise, this will be the end. I need to push it right now. Because the military units for Team Damon and the income is going to be out of control, guys. If this push is too slow, they need to be quicker. They are not going to get in here and do the damage they need to in time. Because the economy of Team Damon, as you can see, is now yielding results. A larger army, but it looks like all of the teams. Except the yellow, he has a very nice army, but his army is divided and scattered. And in this position, he's not going to be able to defend the expansion that's out of their base. And this right here. Looks to be a decisive move to secure the victory. All hopes fallen into a black hole for the opposing team, but they shall endure for the final battle of the Covenant. And here it is the final battle. The voids coming in, the Marines running. But it will not be. And as the remaining forces, the opposing team Grimble, Team Damon comes out victorious. There is nothing left for the opposing team now. Just I shall get the last bit of it, and when the army is like two feet down, I shall abandon it. And GG shall be told. Alright, good game. I hope everyone enjoyed, and I will see you again soon.